Hey guys, Sophia Nicole here live on the red carpet in Studio City for VH1 star Sir Brock's hat launch. What has been on this show done for you? It's done a lot for me, you know? I mean, everybody knows my name. <laughs> Everybody knows my name now. Um, it's done a lot. It's done a lot of good. Of course, they come. There comes the bad. There comes the you know the, the tweeters and the haters and the this and the that. But ultimately, um, I'm happy that I was able to share my story and help others out there. What have you learned from this show so far? What have I learned from the show? Sheesh! Everybody don't like you, and they not always gonna like you. So uh, that's that's big. Been one of my biggest, you know things that I had to realize in life. Everybody is not going to like you, no matter who you are. So. But it's made you stronger. It definitely has. It definitely has. I'm not going to lie. I've had my vulnerable, you know, moments where I got emotional, you know, but yeah, it's definitely made me stronger. I love it. And you're also an artist. What, what inspires you with music and who inspires you and some, who are some of your, you know, musical, you know, great? Well, you know what? I started in the R&B group, Mars Boys. I was in the R&B group for seven years. I was the rapper of the group. But, um, you know, just growing up on the West Coast, I love Cube, I love Pac, and even today, my favorite rapper right now that's in my CD player is The Game, you know? His, his, his CD is off the hook. But what inspires me is I just listen to the beat, I jump in the booth, and I just write, you know? And I think that's one of the biggest mishaps is people don't understand. Sometimes I'm not always telling my story. I let my imagination take its course and I just put the pen to the paper and I write, you know? So. And that's Sir Brock, everybody. So that's a name that you've heard and you're going to continue to hear. And we're so happy. Your courage, you know, your honesty. Thank you. You can't do anything but praise it and love it. And I thank you so much for being so brave. Thank you so much. Thank you for embracing me. And good luck with Just Love, guys. It's beautiful. Great love. line. Yeah, All right. She's been in the industry for so long, she really needs no introduction, but I'm going to do one anyway. The lovely, talented Ms. Kyla Pratt, how are you? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. What made you want to come out to support Miles and his headline? Uh, well, I've actually known Miles for many years. We went to school together back in the day. You know, everybody in L.A. knows each other, and uh, I love the concept. I love the concept, and then I also have another friend who's performing tonight, so I had to come out. Well, we love it. We love it. You've been in the industry for such a long time. You have longevity. What's giving you the longevity and what um, advice do you have to the younger generations that's looking to make a mark like you have? Oh, that's a that's a, a loaded question. <laughs> but it's good, though. Um, I love what I do. I love um, I love acting. And um, I think you have to fall in love with the craft and not fall in love with anything else the attention the media not nothing against y'all <laughs> but um, you have to really love what you do because this is a really difficult business to be in and uh, just stay humble and just realize that you got a job like everybody else and I think you have a show coming out on ABC family yes. can you tell me a little bit about it yes well ABC family which is soon to be free form um, I did a show called recovery road that is premiering January 18th and I am in love with this show and love with the cast and I cannot wait for every I have Jason Lee the star of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood how are you? I'm good how are you? I'm doing good so we got to see a little bit of action with you on the show this season how was it first of all dealing with the drama working on the show and just being on television? Well I mean I'm not used to working with delusional people so the fact that Love and Hip Hop I mean I think we have like two we absolutely have two cast members I think that are a little delusional so it makes it really difficult because it's unpredictable Pause. Yes. and those two are? Well, I mean, I don't want to say the female's name, but I will say I think Milan lives in his own world. So for me, I mean, I didn't film with him this season because I, I didn't want to. But I mean, I'm not used to working with people that live in two different worlds. You know, I typically try to stay on Earth. Other than that, I mean, it was a great experience. Okay, and would you continue on the reality show path or did you get a taste of it and say, yeah, not so much? Well, I mean... I look at the reality show like one of my exes that I, um, not my last ex, so I actually, I right I actually love my ex, my last ex. The moment before that, it was just, I didn't really have nothing going on. But I would say, for me, reality television, I mean, it's, it's um, I think it's a vehicle to promote your business, a vehicle to promote what you're doing. It's definitely a platform that I didn't really even understand the, the, um, dynamic. the dynamic and the reach. Yeah. Um, but um, of course I will continue. So if and when I'm asked to come back, of course I'm going to go back. And next year I'm going to turn all the way up. Well, because I'm going to tell you, you made for good TV. Did I? I mean, you, you brought so? the entertainment. You brought some drama. And I love it because I didn't see it coming. 
Well, let me just say this. I mean, if you look at the bios on everybody on Love & Hip Hop, I'm probably one of the few that does not have the word actor in his bio. I'm not an actor. I don't know how to act. I mean, I could probably act. In fact, I did act like I was in love in the relationship before my last relationship. But, uh, no, I mean, I'm not an actor. I'm just a real person. I'm grounded. I've, I really have been surrounded by some amazing people like Queen Latifah, who is such an inspiration in my life for many reasons. And I've learned from her to watch her go on a red carpet, do a movie, do music, do whatever, be so successful, but still be so humble, throw her hair in a ponytail, and walk to the store and chill, you know? Because you're into blogs and media as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I launched Hollywood on Lots. Um, thehollywoodunlock.com as a plug. Uh, so, so that way, you know, we can start to turn um, the dynamic of urban media. I feel like in many, many urban media outlets focus on the negativity and I think take the culture back. Hollywood Unlocked is more about like connecting with celebrities and showing a different side or an alternative side and, get, and giving them a platform to clear the air on stories I think that are happening to them. So for me, Love & Hip Hop was just like a commercial for that. Did I anticipate that I would be the villain? No. But shit is what it is. So they have a way of making players be who they want them to be on the show. I and mean, some people is authentically uh, just who they are. I mean, uh, let's put it like this: If you were forced to show up with somebody that you didn't care for, that you, uh, no. you know, it's sort of like your wallet. Like I, I was just saying to somebody, I was just at another party, and they were like talking about love him. I said, I look at the entertainment business like a wallet. You gonna have an Amex and a Rush card. You know the rush card ain't gonna work. You 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 know that. I'm going to Russell party later. No shade, Russell, but you know an Amex and a rush card. When you put them in the same wallet, somebody got to be on that front flap and somebody got to be in the back. Now I feel like in many ways I have shown up on set and there's been a rush card, rush card, rush card. I'm like, man, why am I sitting? So um, I just I just feel like. When you put, when it. you build a dynamic where you put people around each other that would not normally be around each other and that maybe have different moral fibers, you're gonna have conflict. I think Mona Scott Young has done an amazing job at creating a platform that puts people in real situations and gives them the freedom to act how they would act. Well, I think everything you said was well said and it was the truth and it was honest, so you can't fault that. I'm here with the star of Basketball Wives LA, Miss Malaysia Pargo. How are you? I'm great. How about yourself? I'm doing really good. It's such an honor to sit here with you. I watch you. You bring so much entertainment. You're so humble, so happy, and always so beautiful. I want to first ask, where do you get your fashion sense from and your style? You know what? I've had it since I was a little girl. Um, my mom said that I used to walk around with these plastic, this patent leather black Mary Hartman shoes, and I would wear them with everything. Like, I knew what I wanted. I wanted my purse, I wanted my Barbie, and I wanted my black church shoes. So I've, I've always been like a dresser. And who's your go-to designer? My go-to designer is, you know what, actually, I love to look scruff. I'm with my children majority of the time, so my go-to designer would be Uggs. <laughs> I love it. That's so L.A., right? Yeah, like I wear Uggs all year round with everything. I love it. And so we're here right now for Miles' hat launch, Just Love. What made you want to come out to support? You know, I met Miles not too long ago in New York. We were both in um, New York doing press to, um, at the same time. And, you know, he was just so authentic and so genuine, and he reminded me a lot of me. Just just like sweet where it's hard on his sleeve so I was like I definitely have to come and support I love to support people that are trying to do something for themselves like it's not easy and you've gone through your trials and tribulations and you've put it out there with love what does love mean for you oh my gosh love is like it's parallel to the universe. Love is something that you just can't control. It's like you can meet a person and just fall in love with them and don't even know them and don't know why. It's because God gave them to you. And so that person is just with love with you. And there's people that have done you so wrong, but you still love them and you don't know why. Love is just something that no one can explain. It's just an intangible thing. Oh, I love it. I'm here with the lovely Miss Amber of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. You look absolutely incredible. How are Thank you? you. I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm doing so well. So we're here for your man, your old man. Okay. Let's take old that man. back. Your old man, good friend. Right. Miles is hatline, just love. Right. Why did you really want to come out to support him tonight? Well, let's be, I'm going to be clear. I came out tonight to support him because 
I mean, in all, he's my, he's still my best friend. He's my rock. You know, at the end of the day, he's living in his truth of who he wants to be, and I'm proud of him. It takes a lot of courage to do what he has done, and I'm going to support that because it's all about being who you want to be and living in your truth. And who would I be? I'm not God to judge a person on who they want to be and how they want to live their lives. So, you know, to show that support, I had to show up fabulous. To let it be known and that honestly, I'm okay with it. Yeah, and the fact that the, the line is called Just Love, at the end of the day, yeah, you were hurt. We get that. Right, A lot of, of us would be too. Of course. But at the end of the day, if it's unconditional, you just love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just It's just love, baby. That's what the, I'm like. I'm here for just love, baby. And it's because it's just love. Like, I'm not, I have no, I don't have an inch of or a 1% of hate in my soul for anyone, especially not for someone that I've came so far with in life. So, you know, I'm here to support and be fabulous, and that's about it. Now, getting to the nitty-gritty, you were on the show. Okay. How was it? What has it done for your life? And, you know, I mean, reality is harsh. Right. What have you learned from it? Well, um, it has been a huge experience for me. Um, I was ups and downs. But I've learned that... I mean, life has it. Cha it has its changes, you know. It has its ups, its downs, and I mean, I'm a I'm a wave rider, you know. I just ride with the waves of my life, and I know God, which I put first, went and sent me through these changes if I didn't have a great outcome. So at the end of the day, I had some experiences, but it was, I mean, it was fun. It, at the same time, it was sad. It it, it it was up and down, you know. I enjoyed it. Let's just put it like that. It wasn't. It was a. Um, it was an experience. Yeah. And personally, being able to have this platform, how do you want to use it and what, what goals do you have to come from it? Well, I mean, let's, I'm a rapper, I'm an artist. That's my main thing, you know. Um, it did help me a lot in that field, you know. It gave me a good platform with that. You know, I got a chance to express myself and who I really was in my music career and, you know, and just show everybody who Amber really was, you know. So that did help me a little bit, you know, as far as, you know, really becoming the person that I've always wanted to be in life as far as, you know, an artist, a rapper, a singer, just, you know, someone that can express myself and, you know, let everyone know that, you know, it's okay to be fabulous and rap and do what you got to do at the same time. But um, it it really inspired me too to know that um, life is just not about um, your personal opinion. You know, it's not all about what you think as a person. You know, there's millions of people in this world and everybody has a different outlook on certain things and opinions. And yours just doesn't matter. It's millions of people out there who have maybe a different opinion and that matters too. So all lives matter when it comes to me. Let the dollar